For three years, I've certainly enjoyed the lightweight and good ventilation of my Suomi helmet. But previously, I have reported on a few issues. The peaks are brittle and quite expensive to replace. The inner fabric liner did start to fall apart earlier than expected. And as many have reported, the helmet strap was annoyingly short. Only small niggling issues, but the major problem was the strap mount breaking due to corrosion. Guys, I can't believe this. I just went to put my Suomi on, tightened the strap, and it broke here. Steel bit in there, just busted off. After my initial report, many riders checked their own Suomi helmets and thankfully reported no corrosion. So I think I can safely say it's just a small but significant number of cases. A major US dealer for Suomi offered to send me a helmet for testing. The plan was to apply a saline solution to the brackets, use the helmet for a few months and see if they corroded or not. Unfortunately, the helmet never arrived. I emailed Suomi head office these questions and the US dealer also chased them up twice. But unfortunately, I never received an answer. My Suomi helmet bracket appeared to use alloy, but these were changed to some type of steel at a later point. Is it actually stainless steel? We don't know, as Suomi head office never replied. But my concern is the updated brackets may not be stainless steel. It could be mild steel with a zinc or cadmium coating. That could still be allowing rust to develop, as per this helmet or possibly a very low grade of stainless steel that is easily corroded if riders sweat a lot inside their helmets. Now, before this looks like a beat up on just Suomi, I must add that this can happen to a wide range of helmets if they don't use high quality marine grade stainless steel fittings. For example, after my Suomi strap fell off, a riding buddy checked his $700 Liat helmet and found an intact but heavily rusted bracket. It was only one month out of warranty, so the Liat distributor refused to replace the helmet. There was this just one helmet that failed after only 80 hours of use, and there have been several reports of aero brackets rusting and breaking over the years too. Ideally, the helmet standards should be insisting on something like marine grade stainless steel fittings only. And second, the manufacturers should be willing to spend the extra 50 cents to $1 it might cost using proper stainless steel, instead of messing around with alloy or coatings like zinc or cadmium. Next time you buy a helmet, it could be worth asking exactly what the metal parts are made from. And I would strongly suggest checking your helmet brackets at least annually for corrosion. 